All right, you guys, the new quarter is starting and we need a new game. Any ideas? Well, people really seem to like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, but we want to reach a broader audience. And there was a lot of parents that were pretty pissed off complaining about the drugs, violence, guns, and the prostitutes. Can you believe that? Fair point. You guys, what if we make a game that's just like Grand Theft Auto, but we pretend to tone the violence down? There you go. Yes, and we can add the same sense of humor as the Grand Theft Auto series. Okay, yeah, yeah. We could take out the guns and killing and just replace them with cartoony style weapons. And you play as a child. Yeah, you can bully everyone in the school by giving them wedgies and flushing their head in the toilet. And you should be able to kiss girls too. Oh, oh, and add a midget. Yes! Yo! Yes! Yes! Yo, that's oh my god! Yo. Yes! Yes, Holy that's shit. such a good idea! Holy oh my god! Oh my god! Let's talk about Bully today. Bully was the perfect game to play to live out all your revenge fantasies after a long hard day of getting your head dunked in the toilet, thrown in the trash can and beat up. It was also the perfect option for kids that wanted to play Grand Theft Auto but had stricter parents as Grand Theft Auto's rating was M and Bully only had a T rating. Hey honey. Oh hey mom. Well, been doing good in school and everything lately. So... We decided to get you a game. You got me a new game? Is it Grand Theft Auto? No. You already know that game is way too violent. Aww. What the fuck? <sighs> Nostalgia. So as we already know, this is a game made by Rockstar. So having a character that looks like this is to be expected. For example, there's a character that you might not even know about. If you leave the school, hang a left, keep going down until you see the pier, jump off the pier, swim out to the buoy, past the buoy, you'll see a pirate ship. If you go to the land next to the ship, there's a fucking pirate right there, just out of nowhere. And he's ridiculously fast, like unnecessarily fast. But hey, if you beat him, you get a sweet pirate hat. Not to mention our main character, Jimmy Hopkins. The kid looks like Bobby Hill grown up with a methadone habit. And while Jimmy's appearance may be a little rough around the edges, and he's kind of a little bit of an asshole, he's still got good intentions, and he's one of the only people at the school to actually stand up to the bullies. Unlike our next character, Gary. I, I fucking hate Gary. This character sucks. He's an asshole. He's a bully. He picks on poor Pete. Now, Gary's one of the first friends we make as soon as we get to Bullsworth. But, spoiler alert, surprise, surprise, the guy wearing a Nazi costume on Halloween turns out to be a bad guy. <gasps> Who would have thought? Now aside from the main characters that you'll meet throughout the game, the school is full of different social circles ranging from jocks, preps, bullies, all the way to some of my favorites, the nerds. Look at this guy. How could you not love that? Also, take note of how some of the nerds literally walk like they just shit their pants. Did you shit your pants? D no. Why would you even think that? That's ridiculous. Ooh, I'd like to make an honorable mention about some of my favorite characters and mention the homeless guy who lives at the school behind a broke down bus that teaches your character how to fight when you bring him a transistor radio. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Just get me a part for my radio and I'll show you what the army taught me. The gameplay aspect of this is very similar to Grand Theft Auto in terms of controls, missions, characters, but what sets this game apart and where it really shines is the bullying. There are numerous ways to torture your fellow classmates in this game. 
ranging from wedgies, throwing them in the trash can, dunking their head in the toilet and giving them an old fashioned swirly. Hell, after you beat a student up, you could choose to humiliate him by spitting into the palm of your hand and rubbing it in his face. What a great high school experience. Now along with using your hands to do all your dirty work, you also get a sweet catalog of different weapons. Now unlike Grand Theft Auto, these weapons are a lot more kid friendly and cartoony, such as a slingshot with a scope on it, uh, stink bombs, marbles to trip people, things like that. I'm so glad they toned down the violence, I'm feeling so kid friendly right now. Now as you complete your classes and progress through the game, you'll be able to unlock different weapons and also unlock the ability to craft different weapons, which I think is extremely handy for taking care of those pesky bullies. This ought to stop those bullies. Now, fair warning, you have to be careful when using these weapons because the prefects at the school are looking for any reason at all to bust you. And if they bust you and they give you detention, you have to mow the entire school's yard. It's, it's ridiculous. Free manual labor, I guess. Just make sure you don't break the cardinal sin of riding without a helmet. In trouble for running over a lady and a homeless guy? No, no helmet. Hi, my name is Captain Smashley, but you probably already knew that. And boy, do I have a special offer for you today. For the low, low price of free, you can hit that subscribe button instantly making you better than everybody else. You can also hit that like button and the bell notification so you can instantly be alerted anytime I drop a new video. These videos are top quality. Don't believe me? Here's some testimonials. What? Oh, right. Um, yeah, he's all right, I guess. Um, I just hope that this payment hits by Tuesday. Oh, by the way, do you think it'll hit by Tuesday? Hi, I'm Skeeter McGee's Internal, and I've been watching Captain Smashley for about five years now. He's only had his channel for about two years. Anywho, that son of a bitch is funnier than hell. Had me laughing so hard I spilled my beer. Well, I thought I peed all over the damn sofa. It was 100% piss, and it was all over the sofa. It was disgusting. My wife was so pissed she kicked me out of the house until I came back with a brand new futon from the Walmart down yonder. I'd do it all again. All right, take three. Do you think that channel's pretty good? How could you argue with reviews like that? So act now for this once in a lifetime offer or else we'll let Skeeter off parole and send him your address. Thank you. On the flip side of bullying, you get to do something that a lot of us probably didn't get to do in high school. You get to kiss girls. No, 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 don't do it. No, 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 no. Stop. You violated the law. Throughout the game, you'll meet different girls that you interact with and do missions for. And the more missions you do for them, the more they'll start to like you. And once they like you, you can exchange an item for them to give you a kiss. And when they give you a kiss, it restores a little bit of your health. Now at the beginning of the game, our man Jimmy dropped some straight heat on these girls. I mean, check this line out. I uh, heard you're pretty easy. Uh, wanna hang out? I couldn't have said it better myself. What's up, ladies? Is your belly a white van? Cause I'm trying to put some kids inside of it. What's up, ladies? You can call me Shark, cause I can smell that menstruation from here. Damn, mama, you fart with that ass? Damn, girl, did you fall from heaven? Cause I wanna Riz Master. Now one of the cool things about this game is you actually have different classes that you take. And if you're late to your classes, you get in trouble for truancy. Now some of your classes range from things like chemistry, where you're pressing the buttons that come up on the screen, all the way to biology, where you're dissecting a frog and different animals. It, it's pretty interesting. It's a really cool concept. My, my favorite class is 100% the art class where your teacher makes all of her students paint pictures of her. This is very good. 
Lord. I'd also like to throw an honorable mention to the music class. Beautiful. Now once you get outside the school, you can really start playing the game. Opening up a whole bunch of customization options. You can go to a barber shop, my favorite barber shop, the Happy Mullet. <laughs> get your hair cut any way you want. You can go to clothing shops just like in Grand Theft Auto and change your outfit, all that stuff. You can even go to the bad part of town and get tattoos your character is 15 getting tattoos <laughs> that's badass but oh my god my favorite area the circus you thought i wasn't gonna mention this if you make your way down to the circus pay the admission price take a right keep going all the way down make another right go all the way down that area, you will find the freak show. If you go inside of the freak show, <laughs> there it is. Midget wrestling. That's it. It's the best game in the world. Best game. Everybody else can go home. See ya. All in all, this game is a fucking blast. A total hit of nostalgia. I spent so many days playing this game when I was younger and I'm so stoked to be able to talk about it with you guys today. Thank you everyone so much for coming and checking the video out and sticking around. If you made it this far, go ahead and click that like button because chances are if you've watched this much, you probably like the video. I'm gonna go ahead and remind you guys to click that subscribe button. It helps the channel out a ton. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a new video or if I decide to go live. Although I usually go live weekdays on my Twitch. I'm actually in the works of setting up a solid set schedule, but for right now, it's usually weekdays. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it right here and in the description below. Thank you everybody for checking the video out and a special thanks to the guys who got included in the video. Once again, my name is Captain Smashley and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.